Hey guys and welcome back to another episode here on our Android TV box guide and today the topic is pure Android versus Android TV OS or vice versa and first of all let me just mention that I love both versions of this great operating system which is Android and one of which is called Android TV OS and as the name states is directly targeted at the TV experience and the other is pure Android and I'm doing this because there is no such thing as pure Android but we will discuss that on a further video but this Android that I call so called Pure Android is what we find on tablets and on phones that it's ported to these boxes that we have been seeing. As I said, I love both of these versions of Android and I'm really glad to see them coexisting in these kind of devices uh, because both of them have advantages and disadvantages and at the end of the day, the best experience for each one of us uh, will be decided by the way that we use these devices and of course uh, depending on this way we will have to decide if Android TV OS is better for us or pure Android. Now that being said uh, really on a simplistic way let me mention just a few advantages and disadvantages of both of them and starting with the Android TV OS first of all in terms of UI in my opinion it is really good looking uh, it has some great functionality giving us uh, suggestions on the home screen based on the content that we usually uh, watch which in my opinion it's a really nice looking UI. Now for some of you guys you might not like it and it has some disadvantages because although it's really nice this UI if there's something that we really don't like there is not much room to change and to customize so uh, there is only two ways here either we love it and we get one of those boxes or if we don't like that UI then it's better to go to uh, pure Android because we can customize in other ways. Now the second point that I would like to mention here is that it's really easy to use and it's especially because it's targeted at the TV. Now when I mentioned that it's easy to use with any remote uh, I can just browse up, down, sideways and so on and so forth so I can choose the app that I want to use but at the same time with this ease of use there will be some limitations as well. Now when I mean limitations is that on Android TV OS uh, it's really easy to use one uh, remote even an infrared remote because we can just choose those applications those kind of applications that are targeted at the TV but if we work around and I will talk a little bit about that as well and install apps that are not targeted to the Android TV OS which we can do that then the experience will not be as easy and we will be a little bit more limited in the way that we use uh, the Android TV box. Now still on this topic the Play Store is limited as I was mentioning just a few seconds ago uh, regarding the way that we use the box, the way that we can't customize the main screen and so on and so forth. As it was built just for the TV experience, Google in this particular case just wants us to use the apps that are targeted at the TV. Now the Play Store if you browse for or if you search for a browser which is a simple thing uh, if any of you guys want to browse the web on an Android TV box with Android TV OS there will be no results on the Play Store so we will have to grab an APK file from an external website and then we will have to sideload it which is something that I already covered on some of my videos but I also got a planned video for the future so that I can explain a little bit better about this but nonetheless guys as you can see and for those of you that are new to this world is something a little bit more confusing so my suggestion here guys is if you really are going Going to use only the apps for the TV probably Android TV OS is the best option for you if you are going to use or if you think that you are going to use more apps 
than those that are designed for the Ender TV OS. And one example is a browser. Another example can be any app that you can install on your mobile device that uh, it's not available for the Android TV OS. And one example can be my local ISP provider has a app that it's available on the general Play Store, but it's not available on the Android TV OS Play Store. So although it's an app for the TV, it's only targeted at tablets, so it will not appear here. And what I have to do is download the APK file and sideload it to install it but it will not appear on the home screen and so on and so forth. So as you guys can see, there are a bit of constraints, but there are also some advantages. Sorry for the interruption, guys, just a few seconds. As you can see, I'm editing the video that you guys are watching right now, but I did receive yesterday a comment from Salvador. So th Salvador, a big thumbs up for you over there. Now he gave us a great tip, which is an app available on the Play Store called TV repo and that app will actually uh, allow us to do something that I was saying just a few seconds ago that it was not possible. So what uh, this app will allow us to do is to create shortcuts on our home screen from apps that are not designed for the Android TV OS experience but uh, that we can sideload and then with this TV uh, app repo we can create those shortcuts and then get a little bit more of customization than i was stating and of course salvador also mentioned launches but the launches guys that i've tested in the past and i also tested right now are not there yet all of them have a worse ui in my opinion of course and besides not looking good uh, one of the most annoying things is that when we press the home button it will go back to our home screen which is the launch uh, because we are using launchers as a app. So this is something that I didn't mention before because to me it's useless. Sorry about that term, but it's useless. But the TV app repo, it's actually very, very useful. So thanks again, uh, Salvador. And hopefully this will help uh, some of you guys that are on the fence. And that being said, let's move on with the video. Now, that being said, guys, moving to the pure Android experience, as expected, it's roughly like having a tablet, which by the the way this doesn't have uh, pure Android experience this is a Xiaomi Mi Pad uh, 3 in this particular case sorry about that uh, and this one has the Mew UI but let's forget about that let's think about it as a pure Android TV box uh, this is basically a tablet uh, and like this it is a TV so I can have my TV screen with these um, icons and so on and shortcuts and widgets and so on and so forth so uh, and i'll show you guys some images on screen if i haven't already uh, that we can customize uh, the way that we want our pure android tv box and usually i use simple launchers designed for the tablets but when i place my shortcuts for the apps that i use on the home screen uh, with my weather widget and my clock widget and so on and so forth it gives a nice looking um, aspect to it so in terms of customization the pure android experience will have uh, the advantage now if you ask me hey robert is it easy to use guys i have to say yes I use it since 2011, if I'm not mistaken, and it had uh, advanced a lot. So it's really easy to use. Probably not as easy to use as the Android TV OS because it's really basic, but it's still easy and gives me more uh, options. Now, one of the biggest advantages here, guys, is that we have access to the full Play Store, the same Play Store that you find on your Android phone or on your Android tablet. Uh, so we can install pretty much every single app that we've got there. Now on the Android TV OS, as I said, we can side load the apps and install them. But here we can just install directly from the Play Store, which is, in my opinion, a huge uh, advantage. So we have, as you guys can see, advantages in both sides. And if you still have some questions, please, guys, drop them down below and I will try if this video is not enough to uh, explain my point of view and what I believe to be the main differences between these two um, versions of Android I will do or I will redo uh, this video into another uh, so that we can um, take the questions out of the way now that being said hopefully this video will help
help in some way uh, to decide if Android TV OS is the right version for you or pure Android experience. And by the way, if you are going for the Android TV OS, at this moment there are three machines, NVIDIA Shield 2016, NVIDIA Shield 2017 and the Mi Box 3, uh, three machines that I've reviewed here on the channel. I will leave some links down below. On the other hand, for those of you that are going for the pure Android experience, then there are a lot of machines, some better than others, that's uh, true and that's why we are doing this uh, guide but um, there are a lot of options I and mean, also leave some links down below with some suggestions that you guys can uh, take a look at the individual reviews and so on and so forth so that at the end of the day you can make an educated purchase and have the best experience possible. And that is it, we are going to close the video here. Guys, if you did enjoy it, don't forget the usual thumbs up. As always, my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one.